Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, welcoming Bo Murchaw from MTV's Awkward, their series finale next Tuesday, 10 o'clock on MTV. Check it out. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. All right, Bo Mershoff, after calling me melodious, we're off to a rolling star with this interview. Hey man, congratulations. MTV's awkward. That show is going on like for a gajillion years That's already. That's right, thank what you. Are, you're one of MTV's first scripted shows. You're like the pioneers for the right, network. Trailblazers. Like. Trailblazers yes. for the millennial generation. <laughs> So where does Maddie go from here, man? I, I think, don't know. It's like, you might, you know, it's so funny. We were prepping for the interview, and every article is like Maddie and Jen, Maddie yeah. and Jen. I'm like, oh my god, you guys are like MTV's first couple. Figure it out, guys. Yeah, Jeez. Is, is that what you tell the writers? Are you like, all right, like, figure this out? You know what? No, but I, I think <laughs> you know, sure. I'm like Maddie. Just watch Friends, and you see the on again, off again with Rachel and Ross. It's tough. Doesn't always work. You end up having a baby together, even though you're not together. Like, what's up? I see you've thought this through already. <laughs> I like it. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> so being part of this show, obviously, we've uh, the millennial generation has watched you grow up on screen. What has it been like? Uh, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. Uh, you know, when we didn't expect this to happen, obviously, you you know, you make a pilot and you hope it's good, and then if it gets picked up, you hey, it's amazing. And then to have the response that we've had has been um, has been wonderful. So uh, it's kind of weird that it's coming to an end, but everything does come to an end, unfortunately, or maybe not unfortunately, but it's just how it goes. So I'm excited for the future. When you look at saying goodbye to a show, now you're 27, you're transitioning into the next step of your career. Sure. Is it weird saying goodbye or are you excited to say, all right, hello to the new opportunities? Yeah, I, I think it's both. Um, it's been such a... Uh, a nice gig, uh, genuinely love everybody involved. So it's a little bit of a breakup, um, <laughs> you know, a little bit. But yeah, the future is exciting. It's, it's a, not you. It's, it's me. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. That's <laughs> that's what they said. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to uh, to see what is in the future for sure. Being 27, you know, I remember I grew up with 90210, not uh -huh. the 90210 you probably know, but the original with Jason oh, Priestley and Shannon Darnie. I've got 10 years on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so when you look at that, I remember they were like 30 playing characters at 18. Yeah. You're now 27 playing a much younger character. What's that like? Well, <laughs> He's like, I'm it having started, fun. You know, when we, yeah, absolutely. When it started, I was 21, so it was a little closer to home. I still remembered high school, and uh, as I, I still do, but it was, you know, uh, still relevant. I still kind of had the same, I think, headspace. Right. Now it's a little different. Um, but now we've we've jumped a year, so awkward's now. It's we're in college yep. now, so it's a little different, but. Last year, I would say it was starting. I was starting to notice it was a little weird because I'm looking in the mirror and I, you know, I don't look like I'm in <laughs> high school so much anymore. And your perspective changes, right? So like certain story elements you're not really connected to, you're like, nah, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> it's really okay. So you, it's kind of it's difficult to challenge to get connected to it. You and I were just joking about theater before you came in. You're going right. to see Long Day's Journey in tonight, which is freaking amazing. I've heard yeah. so. You want to do theater one day? Uh, was that yes? I do. Uh, I do do theater. Um, I run a, a theater company in Los Angeles called Creative Works, and doing a play next month uh, called The Understudy by Teresa Rebeck. And yeah, theater's really fun. And great. You run a theater company at twenty seven. Well, co run. It looks a little. How does company. that happen? Please walk me through it. How does it happen? Yep. So I'm in a part of an acting community, and um, you know I started out in the studio and fostered great relationships with these really great actors and we're always looking to do work and we're really driven and love theater so we're like hey let's do theater <laughs> so we started a company and we have a little 55 seat theater that we perform out of and that's pretty much it it's really pretty simple you just get together a couple times a month figure out read plays figure out what you want to do hire people get it going yeah so it's it's such a different world. I love always talking to. I was just on you. I interviewed John Galbraith Jr. Who you're going to see today, and that he just came bastard. up. To, okay, Can guy, I say that? That guy's oh. awesome. I, yeah, no, say whatever you want. I loved him on the newsroom, and I was talking yeah, about that. Great. But TV versus theater, 
such distinctly different worlds. Yeah. Which do you enjoy more and why? Well, they're both very different. If I had to choose one or the other, I'd choose theater. Uh, why? Because the an actor is inevitably indebted to their to the writing, right? So you have the best writing, the best characters are in plays. And you have to elucidate the human emotion, character, everything through dialogue. Hey, I'm on it My word of the day, man. The word of the day. I sound like a douchebag. Uh, so, You're just elucidating. Yeah, just elucidating, guys. <laughs> Come on. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, it's all through the dialogue. And it's I really believe it's the actor's medium. Um, and you're, you're in it and you, you don't stop, you know, it can, you can, it, it's, it morphs. And uh, the other thing is you have time, you know, you rehearse for a month, you start figuring out what it is, you, you dig deep. And then after you've been performing for a month, oh, then you, you find this new way to do it. You know, like, oh, this is the way. And so you don't have that opportunity uh, in TV. You, you oftentimes, especially in television, you, there's rewrites, you get a new scene sometimes day of, you learn it. And you put it, you rehearse it once and you shoot it and it's done. Very ephemeral. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you've got the, you've got, I'm on it today. you've got the words. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah. You're dropping it, the sport. words today. <laughs> so, you know, what's crazy with Awkward. Social media following is incredible on that show. Right. What have been some of the cool fan reactions you've gotten over the years? Fan art, fun stuff. A lot of like portraits. People like draw my, draw me. That would scare the crap It's really out of weird it. and cool. Um, do you have them like hanging in the house? I should. <laughs> I, I'm going to do that when I get home. Um, I don't. It is a little strange because sometimes you're like, do I look like that? What's up with that? Um, or like, it's like their interpretation. You know, <laughs> so my dog. head's really big because that's what they think of me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, there's a lot of interesting things. Everyone's really positive though and nice. Well, people love the show. Do you, yeah. is it the fan reaction blow your mind? Like that people attach themselves to these characters and live the stories with you guys? Yes, I'm always surprised. I'm still, I was walking up here. I was, someone came up to me and I'm always just like, it, uh, cause I don't, I don't, I watch the show, but I'm not, I don't know. I just, I, it's my job. It's not a big deal to me. So that someone would think it's a, or like be that, excited or whatever it's still strange i get it i understand because it's you know this people television get, it's people magic get, it's, people get connected yeah it's completely. crazy so I, I get it but you know you shoot it and you forget about it and then you go do your life and uh so it's yeah you're still always a little bit surprised you're like, ah. <laughs> you're, you're like me you're talking yeah, to me yeah you're in a long-term relationship how is that different how do you know that it's i've read <laughs> surprisingly i can read still at my advanced age <laughs> But how is that different when you have to live that life in real life versus what you have to display on television? Do you mean... The I, back and forth with Jenna and all that stuff right. versus, hey, you're in a stable, normal relationship. I'm guessing stable, normal relationship yeah. in real life, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's not really difficult. You just... Uh, I could imagine or I, what it would be like to go through those things. Well, like as the characters, things are happening to the character, right? That, so that he's in a relationship. And she's doing things that aren't okay with the character. So you, you, you know, uh, you know how that would feel, or you try to relate to how that would feel. So you just, you just got to transport yourself into the character. Do you want Maddie and Jenna to end up together? <laughs> I mean, yes, eventually. However, they're really young. You know, I think they should probably go their separate ways for a little bit, get some life experience, see what else is out there. I love it hearing this from a 27-year-old. I think when I was 27, man, I was globe-trotting, doing some of the craziest crap on the planet. I'm right. like, you're like in a relationship. I'm like, that's so mature. Yeah, I know. I wonder how he does it. <laughs> yeah. Is it hard? Like, you're a good-looking guy. You're young. Is it hard being in Hollywood in a relationship at, that, at your age? Uh, yes and no. I mean... No. I mean, it's not because we're, we're really solid and we don't... We're not like going to parties all the time and doing the thing, and we're pretty boring. <laughs> pretty boring, normal people. Um, we love each other, and so it's you know it's pretty pretty simple at this time. Um, you know, if that changes, it changes. But uh, right now, it's great. You just directed. How cool yes. was that, man? I'm like, I can't bl I can't imagine. It's hard enough to be an actor, but to get behind the camera and have to direct is crazy to me, especially when it's something you're on. What was it like? Well, yeah, directing myself was a lot like. Uh, 
hey man, can you do a little bigger? Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> a lot of that uh, borderline psychopathic uh, behavior. Uh, it was really fun and in. Uh, not, I don't want to say easy, but I was really prepared. I've been. You were shadowing. I was reading shadowing. Oh yeah, I'd been doing that since the f season one. I'd been shadowing our DP and reading a lot and shooting things and yeah. So I, I was really prepared and I had ample time to, uh, excuse me, prepare for the for the episode. So uh, I was nervous, you know, but I, I found that I was able to act on the fly and make changes. Uh, you know, in, with ease, and yeah, it was really a, a rewarding and positive experience. Is it hard though? You these cast members, you've been together for years now. Is it hard to actually get in the director's chair and have to kind of, you know, throw a little bit of weight around and be like, hey, you're not doing this right, not doing that right? Yeah, I mean, I've directed some theater, so it's I don't know. There's a way to go about it. You don't you don't want to be na I at least don't want to be negative. Be so you I just, would be an a hole. Right. I'd, I'd be the worst. Yeah, I think so, you're not giving me yeah. what I need. I'm so uh, aware. I've had a lot of different directors, so I know what bad direction feels like, and I don't. And I no good. So I try not to do that. So you try to you know. There's a way to go about it to, in a positive way, and ask to try something else. And yeah, like, you just go about it in a different. way. Way. Do you yeah. want to, do you see long term is directing a path you want to continue down? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to, I wrote a short that I'm going to shoot in the next couple months and try to, I don't know, I just keep doing it and try to keep being creative in as many mediums as possible. And if, as long as it inspires me and I feel inclined to do it, then hell yeah. So what's left with Awkward? What happens next? Uh, there's two more episodes, no wait, there was an episode last night, now next week is the finale, it's a, a hour long finale, and, just tell me what happens, okay, tell me so everything, they all, they all they get, get abducted, they, they all get, they all get abducted and end up on a I UFO, get pregnant. uh, that's crazy, um, so, I don't, you know, a lot of stuff happens, the whole gang ends up, at Camp Puka, it's where it all began, right, so I will say Maddie makes a grand romantic gesture of some sort, and it doesn't go as planned. Fascinating. That's right. Is it going to be tough saying goodbye? You've, you've spent years with this character. Tough saying goodbye? You're going to yeah. miss him? Oh, yeah. You're going to miss him? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. It already it just feels like we're on hiatus because awkward. It shoots relatively a short amount of time, so it just feels like we've just waiting to go back to work. So I'm sure once, you know, in a couple months, when it's truly gone, yeah, I'm sure that will be a, a time. How do you handle fans because they know you as Maddie, not as Bomer Shop? How do you handle fans because they probably, I whenever I talk to actors who have done a role for a long time, fans are always coming up to them and they're literally calling them their characters' names. Right? Do you have to like stay in character in that moment? No. Like, or you're like yourself? Yeah. I would totally go with the character. I how bad it, it's so bad now where some if someone goes like, "Hey Matt," or like whatever. Not to me. I'll turn. I, I answer to Matt and Maddie now. You're that like it's yeah. that like pa like Pavlov yeah. like you're. In I don't know grade. who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get worried about being typecast? Where you've played this role for a long time, will it be difficult to get roles moving forward? I don't think so. I think Maddie was a very is a very uh, complicated and nuanced character, and I think I was able to show a lot of range with it. And I do a lot of different roles as well, and I do. You're uh, an Aquarius. Yeah. Like one of, David's one of the coolest dudes on the planet. Seriously. Is he not like, I remember like I was such a big fan of California Fiction and then interviewing him and I was just like, you're the coolest, man. <laughs> yeah, he's super smart. You yeah. just tell the other guys on another level. He's a Mensa member, actually. I think I read somewhere he's Mensa. I would believe that. You'll have to, you'll have to fact check me. I'll fact one, check though. you. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I believe it. He's <laughs> a smart guy and really talented and uh, an inspiration. Who are some of the actors you look up to? Uh, there's so many. Um, uh, Kate Blanchett, I think, is just and so specific and wonderful. And uh, I was talking about Liev Shriver recently. Like, I think he's really underrated. Ray or, like, the best man. I haven't seen it. Oh, I haven't seen it. The but best. Just, You'll like, love incredible him. Incredible in everything. Uh, there's so many people. I don't even like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is killing it right now and. Uh, I'm missing so many people. There's just so many. I don't know. There, he, those are some good choices. So many though. people. So what's next for you? Awkward comes to an end. What happens next? Out of work, man. I'm <laughs> hanging it up. He's like taking a vacation. I'm gain a lot of weight, and I'm gonna drink a lot. <laughs> I 
like your idea, man. Yeah. I think I think that's my schedule. This, I think that's, that was my birthday last night, so I'm like, that's my weekend schedule. Yeah.